to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17. Welcome to part 32 of my 100% walkthrough of Elden Ring. Now, our plan is to go up to that tower and get ourselves a new staff, a staff that we're going to be using to a pretty late level in the game. To get up there, we're going to run up this hill on horseback. At the very top of that tower, there's a sorcerer, and he's going to conjure up some uh, ghost, some sort of ghost army that's going to try and take us on. And he's going to shoot uh, magic at us, very similar to the pebble that we use. So we're going to uh, accept more powerful. We want his magic. So what we're going to do is we're going to run on horseback. We're going to avoid all the enemies and get to the bottom of the tower where the sorcerer can't get us. Uh, we're going to go up a ladder and then deal with uh, some of the army before we head up the tower and take care of the sorcerer. That is our plan for now. Uh, I'll show you on the map where we are. We're starting at the Leonia Highway North, and that is where we left off at the end of the last video, and the tower that we're going to is right there. That's the plan for the start of the video. Let's get on our horse and get to it. So we're heading northwest up the hill, and we'll sort of head around to the right up to the tower. And hopefully not get hit by the sorcerer. You can already see him. He's up there. Hopefully not get hit by him. Sometimes I do get hit by his magic on our way. We'll see if we can dodge it. Nope. Didn't dodge it. That's okay though. Wasn't too bad. And jump up in here. Get off the horse and go up the ladder. Get your pebble ready as well. Now once we get under here, he forgets that we're here. He forgets that we even exist. And what we're going to do is take out some of these guys if they come close enough. Oh, come on! There we go. Are you going to come close enough? Oh. Alright, now, now he is. Now, usually that's all we get. The rest of them are like, hell no, I'm not going any closer. So we'll maybe deal with them later. For now, we're going to open this chest. We'll get the Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. I didn't put in my notes what's in it, so let's have a quick look. Someone just died. We just got more... Uh, what was it? Glintstone Craftsman 3, wasn't it? It has the Albanoric Pot. Yeah, I haven't really found a use for that, so that's not that fun. All right, get our shield ready. Head on up. Now, as I said, this guy has completely forgotten we exist. He's not want, worried about someone coming up the ladder. So up two more ladders. Someone died again. Oh, that's at that battle. I'll show you that after we deal with this. All right. Now, this guy can be tough. We're going to get our blade out. We're going to get Scholar's Armament on it. He still is oblivious. And we're going to go do a sneak attack and then a finesse if required. Or he might fall off and die. That would be ideal. Nope, he didn't fall, so... Oh no, now he fell. And he died. Perfect. There we go. Sorcerer is dead. And we get the Carrion Glint Blade Staff. Let's have a look at it. Pardon the interruption, guys, but I just wanted to let you know that it takes a hell of a lot of work to make these guides and walkthroughs that I make on my channel. I need all the support I can get from you bloody legends out there. So please hit the join button to become a member of my YouTube channel, or you can join my Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash AussieGamer17. Thanks for the help, you bloody legends. Into equipment. So we've been using the Demi-Human Queen Staff. We've got it up to a plus seven. It does 164 uh, sorcery scaling. The Glint Blade Staff, the Carrion Glint Blade Staff, only does 137, but we can upgrade it. So we're probably going to do that towards the end of this video, but for, we won't change over to that staff just yet. We're going to upgrade it first, but it will become our go-to staff. And you look down there, it's passive effect. It boosts Glint Blade Sorcery. What do we use the most? We use the Magic Glint Blade, don't we? So yeah, we definitely want to be using that staff. It is my boss killer, guys. It really is my boss killer for at least the next uh, 45 videos. <laughs> there, that'll answer that if anyone's wondering. Okay, we can drop back down. Uh, okay, we're going to have to uh, spawn a few more of those ghosts. 
So I was probably wrong when I said it. the sorcerer was the one making them spawn. He probably, maybe he set the traps originally. So we want that loot out there. As soon as we go to pick that loot up, more of those uh, douchebags are going to spawn in. We're going to run and jump back up here and then use our pebble. And we're going to focus firstly on the, uh, there's going to be a sorcerer type douchebag ghost. So we'll focus on him first. Pick up the loot. Dodge back, dodge back. Get that off the screen. Jump up here. Avoid that magic. Then focus on him. Apparently they only need one pebble each. Oh, there, they're backing away. They're scared. All right. All right, refill our flask. Sometimes there's a guy around here. Nah, we're safe. Okay, get on your horse. And put your staff... Oh, put your staff in your right hand. Are there any more? There might be some more ghosts on this hill. More of those soldiers. Oh, there's a uh, glowing skull. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, we're all safe here. Now, the battle that I was talking about happening down here. What did I just... There was something in the grass here. Oh, it's just a... Just a fruit. All right. I can't really stop and explain this. We need to get on with it. So I'm going to do it, explain as we go. We're going to head towards this battle. A bunch of soldiers here. A bunch of ghosts are going to spawn in if they're not already all dead. Usually they're all here. Okay, well, we'll get the troll to spawn in. And these guys are going to fight that troll for us. For now. And we're going to watch. Uh, we might need to go down here and just get them to all aggro on each other instead of aggroing on us. What we want is we want them to fight each other. Ah, oh, they're all aggro on me. Okay, I'm gonna run past the troll. Oh, you don't you don't want to be hit by that either. Usually they do a pretty good job at taking on this troll. Just ignore all this loot for now. Alright, once they're fighting him, we're gonna pretend that those guys are our wolves. And we're gonna help them take down the troll. Oh look at that, they already weakened him. Oh, wrong button. I wanna use magic glint blade on him. Send as many of those as we can. Fill up our FP. They got him down again. Oh, let's um, let's do a uh, thing on a jiggy move. Swap over to that dual wheel. Get a critical on him, and then ride away. Put our staff back on. So yeah, I quickly put our um, sword in two hands to do that. All right, yeah, stay away whenever he's got those glint blades hanging around him. That should finish him off just about. Here we go. We don't need to go do a critical because he's about to be dead. There we go, got him. And now these guys are gonna turn on us. Come on guys, I just helped you. Are you seriously going to try and fight me now? I'm just going to use the rest of the current flask I've got here, or the current FP, to finish off a couple of these guys. And now that we need to refill it, I'm going to jump off the horse and take out the rest of these guys using melee. What are they looking for right now? Oh, you. Take that. Oh, you. You're already nearly dead, mate. There you go. All right. Now, I think this is what the uh, dude just dropped. Let's see if I can get it. The Troll Knight Sword. I don't know. I don't think that that... I don't think he drops that all the time, but uh, we probably can't use it anyway. The Troll Knight's Sword. Actually, let's compare it to our Fang. Oh, it, we can use it. Pretty cool, but it's not really going to fit in with our playstyle anyway, but uh, feel free to have a go at that if you got it to drop. Now, there is a couple of things around here that we do have to get. Or can get, I should say. This was not not on the script, but I saw it off the, out of the corner of my eye. I thought we better go grab that. Uh, this loot here. Golden rune. This loot here. Golden rune. This loot here. And you might think that that's it. It's not. One of them was a golden rune. Rune 6, by the way. Uh, now, where is it? 
Up here by the car. Okay. Well, you might not miss this. But that's a new weapon. A Lucen. I'm not sure how, how to pronounce that. But that's how I'm going to go with it. Uh, now that we've done all of that. Got all the loots. We're going to head north. Through this uh, opening. Down the road. So we cleared out that camp. Got all the loot. Got our new staff. We're going to head this way. And somewhere in this area. I can't remember exactly where is one of those dung beetles and he has got a smithing stone for us a somber smithing stone to be precise so let's go find him i'm going to uh get my staff out and my pebble just in case he decides to run all right i can hear him i just can't remember where he is he's somewhere over to the right here there he is there he is all right let's get him pebble 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 Four pebbles, and he blows up. So make sure you're not anywhere near him when he blows up, and you'll get a somber smithing stone level two. All right. To our next grace. This video is actually going to be a bit shorter than I thought. Let's uh, have a quick chat to this guy, actually. Or more to the point, let him send us a text. Rhea Lucaria. Hello, Hall. Dedicated to the study of magic. Oh, shoot. I accidentally uh, pressed the button then. Why shut your doors to me? Am I barred from donning the crown of stone? Don't know what that really means, but... Oh, what do you mean I can't get on my horse? Wouldn't let me on my horse for a second then. Okay, and over here to the bridge, if you get... To, oh, sorry, to the broken bridge. If you get to this side of grace without that dung beetle, it means you've gone too far. Oh, I've got a couple of little things to do before the boss fight, actually. We are doing... The Knight Cavalry boss fight in a moment, guys. But before we do that, uh, I'm going to make sure it's morning. Oh, and we're going to go grab the map piece, actually, in a moment. Jeez, morning's uh, pretty dark around here. We're going to go speak to Hyetta, but we don't have another grape for her yet. Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes... Yes, 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 we know. I feel the light in the back of my eyes. You need to get some new material, Hyena. So, we don't have one yet. Uh, I think if we talk to her again, it'll just be the same thing. Yep, yep same thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is open up our map. We're going to get a marker and we're going to get the NPC marker and we're going to place it right there to remind us to come back to Hyeda. I know there's already a marker there for her, but that's just how I like to do things. You don't need to do, do it if you don't want to. Plus, if you're following the walkthrough, I'm going to show you to come back to her anyway. Um, now, let's go get this map. We want to uh, clear out this map. So we're going to just do a quick little sprint all the way over to here. Uh, let me just put the marker right about there. Oh, the beacon, sorry. And we're going to go get that. That's the plan. And then we'll just start uh, fast travel back to here. We're, we're going to ignore all enemies and loot. We just want to get the, ma the map so that we can uh, explore the area better later. Just continue straight down this broken bridge. Past these new fish enemies. I call them fish men. I mean, sure, you can get into a fight with them. I don't think they'll be too strong for you or anything. But we're just going to ignore them. And deal with them later. We want the map. Alright, I can see the pillar. I'm not even going to get this side of grace. We're going to get that later. I'm just going to deal with this. Grab the map. Open up the map. And fast travel back to where we just came from. Okay, now that we are back, get back on our horse. We're going to use the horse just to uh, save us from some fall damage as we head down here to the west. I'm going to just remove the uh, beacon here. All right, we want some loot under there. But if we go under there, these things are going to spit poison at us like there's no tomorrow. So I'm going to take them out. We don't need to worry about... Wasting FP because we've got a side of grace literally right there. How many was that? I forgot to count. One, two, three, four. Okay, four each. 
Four for you. Four for you. Fill up our FP. Two more. One, two, three, four, and four for you. There we go. Make sure it's safe to go in. Four. Strip of white flesh. <laughs> I knew that, but uh, look, I try and get any loot set. I want to show you all the loot. Not all the loot, obviously I can't. The game's way too big and way too much for, for me to get all the loot. All right, here we're going to get on, a, on our horse. We're going to put our staff in our right hand. And we're going to get another one of these balloons for another golden rune six. Aim for the balloon. Hit it with our pebble. Get a bit closer, maybe. And then these guys are going to drop. And we'll take them out with our pebble as well. Oh, I need uh, one more. One more pebble, please. Excellent. All right, we got the golden rune six. We get a free refill. Oh, we got some marionette soldier armor and some arrows. That's a random drop. Uh, from there, we are going to a little camp with some soldiers up here. And then we're going to get a spirit ash before we go and take on the knight cavalry, cavalry boss. Let's go get this guy. This is the alarm douche, so we need to take him out first. Good night. <clears throat> no alarm for you, buddy. Now, I think that guy there may also have an alarm. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, turtle. I needed those five runes and the uh, turtleneck meat. I really did, Rach. If you're listening. <laughs> uh, this guy. No, he's not going to see us. We'll do a sneak attack. Oh, he might see us. On this guy. And then a guard counter. Maybe not. Maybe not. I missed it. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That didn't go too well. Grab the loot. Silver pickled foul foot helps our loot drops. Uh, now, somewhere, let me double check my notes. Did I make a map? I did make a map. Where is it? No, that's not it. Ah, uh, okay, about here. Okay, the plan here, guys, is to run on horseback all the way up to there. And grab a Spirit Ashes. He's going to be sitting between a whole heap of those um, squirt things that we killed under the bridge just before. This time we're not going to bother killing them all. We're just going to run in there, grab it and run out. And hopefully not get poisoned. And once we're out of combat, we can fast travel back to that side of Grace. We Oh, Ooh, I did not plan for these guys. Um, let's just give them some pebbles. I don't remember them being there on my uh, initial... Oh, maybe I just ran past him. All right, stop stuffing up the walkthrough. Ooh, going skull. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go. Yeah, so where were we? We're looking for the spirit ashes. See, look at all these guys. We ain't going to be worrying about fighting them. We're just going to run in here. We're going to grab this. And we're going to run back. And when we can access the map, we'll fast travel. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. There we go. Uh, fast travel back to Gate Town Bridge. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. It is boss fight time, or field boss, whatever you want to call him. And he's a knight field boss, obviously. Uh, we are going to see if we can level up. We definitely can level up. Whoa, I've saved a few. Uh, at least maybe we'll get two levels. Uh, where were we on our leveling up? We did Faith. Uh, we were getting Vigor to 20. Can we get up to two levels up? Yes! Sorry about waiting, guys. Those uh, runes were burning a hole in our pocket. So we'll level up. Now, we want our flasks. We want 
as many FP as we can, but we're going to take one HP flask just in case. Uh, and that's it for the, whatchamacallit here. Okay, and then we're going to pass time until nightfall. All right, your staff should already be in your right hand. Up we get. Get on our horse. And head to the east. And we can see him already. Now we're going to lock on to him and we're going to follow him down this hill. We're not going to shoot a blade until he passes that tree on his right there. And we're going to get nice and close because sometimes it doesn't quite work. Uh, we've got glint blades ready. All right. Shoot a blade. Wait three seconds. One, two, three. Maybe a bit longer than that. I counted a bit fast. There we go. Now wait for him as he's chasing you to do something like that. That slows him down. Oops. That didn't slow him down. And we're going to run back towards the side of Grace. And only when we've got enough space. So he runs into those. That was perfect. And about here somewhere... He'll reset, and I shouldn't have shot that blade. That's going to miss. Usually at around this this uh, sort of bridge area here where the uh, walls are, he usually resets. Doesn't usually get all the way to the side of Grace. You need to be careful you don't run off the edge at the side of Grace. And I didn't really discuss tactics before I did this, did I? Now we're waiting for him to pass that tree, and then we're going to do one, three seconds, one. Hopefully that makes sense. Here we go. One, three, two, one, and another one. And then turn around and get ready to run. Okay, that first one didn't hit him. Oh, now we're not close enough. All right, refill, refill. Yeah, it seems to be a bit finicky, the uh, the distance on some of these. All right, there we go. Only because... Uh, now, that's going to miss him. He's way too close to us, so let's just uh, throw one out. Come on, get him, get him. There we go. And he's resetting, so we won't waste another one. Try not to waste too many. And he resets. And we just rinse and repeat, guys. But we're going to wait for him to pass that tree before we shoot him with a blade. Unless, unless he spooks and turns around, we can automatically shoot a blade if he spooks. All right, get nice and close. Two, three, and another one. Ah, the second one missed. That's disappointing. We're going to do another one here because he had to get through that, past that tree, so I thought I had enough time. There we go. Oh, that got me. Oh, the other thing I just remembered, guys. Uh, we'll do it on the next round. He's going to reset, so that's going to miss. We didn't take our physics, so you can take your physic as well before you start this fight, actually. No harm done, though. We just would have done a little bit more damage to him, I suppose. Although we don't really have the right things in our physic anyway. It's not important. It's more of a protection for one of those big hits, I suppose. All right, pass the tree. One, two, three, and another one. There we go. Got him twice. Get on the run here. Oh, he's, he's a bit stuck, so we can do another one. That's going to get him. Yes, it is. Oh, when he does that, he slows him down for a second. So we do another one. Now, if you get past here and he doesn't reset. Yeah, I want to just quickly show you. Don't run off the edge down here. Just uh, when you get to here, the grass, just run off that way and he'll reset. All right, we've got enough FP. Check your FP before you start. All right, and again, we're going to wait for him to pass the tree. Here we go. One, one, two, three. You move forward a little bit to shoot the second one as well because he moves further away. Oh, I nearly got hit then. Oh, sometimes he runs right into it. That got him, that got him. Oh, he's resetting. I shouldn't have shot that one. That's a waste. Oh, well, we would have needed to recharge anyway. All right, he's nearly dead. We've got, what, two thirds down? And plenty of FP in the tank still. So yeah, we, we've got more than enough now. All right, he's past the tree. So one, one, two, three, and another one. Ah, that one missed. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm not locked on. That's bad. Uh oh, that was bad timing too. That's not going to get him. It's too far away. Oh no, got him. Perfect. Alright, a couple more goes. Although we didn't do much damage that round. Oh, he's going a bit crazy. Where are you going, mate? He's already past the tree. Alright, let's get him. One. One, two, three, and again. Oh, that missed. That didn't. Try that. That's probably not going to get him. Come on, mate. That's not going to get him. He's on the move too much. Need to refill. We'll have to wait. We'll let him reset, I think. There we go. No. Oh, I thought he was resetting. So just uh, run off here if he doesn't reset. And he should reset. There we go. You definitely can die if you run off the edge where the... Um... Okay, we don't have our bubble protecting. If you run off the edge where the side of grace is, you can die from that fall, even on horse. So be careful. Oh shoot, I spooked him. My bad. I went too close, guys. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Some more damage. That was a good one. Oh, he's going to reset. No, he's not. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Oh, it missed. Reset, you douchebag. Oh, I've never seen him come this far. It's because he's still in a... In an action pose, I guess. Let's just lead him back over here. Alright, he should reset. Come on, reset, mate. You know you want to. I have never seen him do this. Reset. There we go. No, still not. Alright. You want to play? I'll play. Maybe we'll just finish him off. Ah! Got him! Alright, one more and then I'll have to recharge. I've not seen him do this, but uh, this will work. Ah! Let's see if I can get him to reset though, just in case you guys get stuck like this and it's too early in the fight. We'll go down here. And then I'll circle around. Try not to get hit. And see if he chases us this way, if we can get him to reset. That's another tactic, actually. I did try this fight by running up that that bit of uh, stone there that Kurt, that um, leans up against the cliffs. It can work, but I find too many um, glint blades miss him and stuff. I find it much better doing this. Okay, he's not resetting. That's interesting. Out. I was about to say, but as you can see, we're not really in any danger. And <laughs> then he hit me. Let me just heal. We did bring one heal. Oh, he reset. Finally. Okay. Yeah, okay. I've never seen that happen, but uh, we're fine. This will be the round, guys. Oh, God. He's, he's spooked still. Okay, this has really been stuffed up on us. Let's just go kill him. You guys know know the tactic. If you Worst case scenario, you just start again, I guess. Ow. Ow. Die. Oh, how did that not get him? Got no more heals, so you have to die now. Oh, he died and I died. Oh, no. Enemy fell, though. We get it done. You guys get the get the gist of it. Can't believe I died. Is that my first death in the walkthrough? Oh, and my rune. My rune arc. Oh, that'll, um, that'll take away the benefits of the rune arc. But worth it. We got the Ash of War Ice Spear. I'm going to have to leave that in the video because I can't exactly get him to respawn. And if that happens to you guys, at any point in the fight, even if he's not dead, you always respawn during the day and he won't be there. So you can run and grab your runes without any risk. But yeah, that is the Knight's Cavalry here in Leonia East. I believe it is Leonia East right near Gate Town Bridge. That's how you take care of him. Uh, now, for those still following along with the walkthrough, we're actually going to go check if we can do any um, upgrades, particularly to our new staff. So we're going to fast travel to the round table hold. Did I get runes for killing him? I wonder if we missed out on runes for killing him. I wonder how many you're meant to get. I feel like I should have more than 7,000. 
Um, I might have to just check the recording on that, but uh, either way, we are going to go in here. We are going to... Wait, I don't think we want to do anything. I know we've got level 3s now. Um, we don't have the guy that I normally use my level 3s on, though. Maybe we'll upgrade the wolves one more time. No, you know what? I'll wait and decide which um, spirit we're going to use next before we upgrade any spirits. But what we do want to do is see old mate Hugh. I took you, no match, lay out your own. And we're going to strengthen armament. And we're going to go across to our ranged or catalyst weapons. Pardon me, I nearly burped on... on on recording, that would have been embarrassing. Uh, pardon me, but uh, we are going to upgrade our Carrion Glint Blade staff as much as we can. We're going to uh, run out here pretty quickly, so we can only get it to a plus two at this stage. We don't have enough smithing stones just yet. We'll get a plenty shortly. We're going to be able to upgrade that pretty quickly. Um, but let's just compare them again now. So this one has 158 versus 136. So our new one is still not up to scratch just yet, uh, but it won't be long. Will not be long and we'll be uh, swapping over to the Carrion Glint Blade Staff. Let's just go rest at the round table so that that's a good save point to end the video. Sorry if this one is a bit shorter, guys. I don't know whether you like shorter or longer. Let me know in the comments down below. And please give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the series. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying it. Yeah, don't forget to comment. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.